Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah, Bob. This is Wolf Down Live. Hey, welcome back. Your uh, your favorite nerdy <laughs> news podcast. Yeah. It's not really news. It's more like uh, just what we feel like talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's just us yakking your ear off for half hour, Yacking it off. Minutes. Yacking that ear off. Mm-hmm. Real hard. I know that's not how the <laughs> phrase goes, but shut up. Yak that ear off. Shut up, Vicky. Uh I did this drum solo, yeah? No, you didn't. (laughs) Uh, Jackie, Super Ty, Joseph, Lord. Hello. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Um, As always, please let us know um, of any technical issues we may have. That's true. Because we usually have a bunch. High CPU use is detected. Some drop frames might occur. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Why did that have that happen yesterday? Well, I was streaming. Yeah. And I thought I think it's because I had a video playing of hearts, like a heart waterfall behind me that was like throwing up the hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That might have did it. So, how was everybody? I had an okay day. How was your day, Will? It's all right. It was a day. Good. It was a day. I uh, had to avoid spoilers all day because Batman 49 came out, and that was a big issue, and we all know what was going to happen in the issue. But everybody just decided to, you know, talk about it you know, already. I got it spoiled for me because I clicked on a Reddit post. And I didn't know it was going to be a spoiler. Because you know how it well, says not safe for work? Yeah. And it just says that. Like, yeah. And a lot of times it says that and it's not really a spoiler. Yeah. I clicked on the link without even reading what it was. And, uh, yeah, totally got spoiled. Yeah, I mean, for those of you who don't know, the way comic books work is they will pretty much spoil a book months in advance to try and get you to buy it. So we knew what was going to happen in Batman issue 49. The thing is, we didn't know the particulars. Mm. And all these articles started going into particulars. I didn't read the articles. I did read the comic, though. And, oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Go out and pick up Batman issue 49. I'm like 20 issues behind on Batman. You got a lot of catching up to do. (laughs) Um, Super Ty wants to know, Will, what do you think about those Sonic shoes? Yo, though, if you, I don't know if you saw the Nike shoes that are just Sonic shoes, but I want those. <laughs> Vicky wants me to talk about my Reddit post. Uh, I would bring it up, but I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> just like crash my computer. But I posted on Reddit. You saw it. Yeah. Uh, a I'm... clip from the video that I put up yesterday, plus a little bit of added stuff. Because yeah. in the video, it's me playing Sonic level and it zooms out to how big the level is and yeah. all the different paths you can take. And then I did it again because what's that level? The third level? Yeah, I don't... Mystic Mystic Ruin? Ruins, I think. It That level is bigger. So yeah. I thought that was a little more mind-blowy. Oh, yeah. So I zoomed out and to that whole level and I figured that was Reddit bait. So I put that on Reddit. It got uh, almost 4,000 upvotes. It was popular. 4,000 upvotes. Pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. But... My post sourcing it because I, I was like, "Hey guys, you all like Sonic?" Because I wanted to, you know, link our Marble video. Garden, Marble Garden, yeah. Mystic Ruins <laughs> is a different level. <laughs> yeah, that's a completely different level. I think it's from a different game. That's too. from Sonic Two. It's the one with the arrow shooting out. I think. Yes. So, yeah, I, I linked our video, <laughs> and I was like, "Hey guys, check this out if you like Sonic." And it got buried all the way down. Ooh. Reddit. Reddit's a, a freaky. Reddit is a. It's Mystic Cave in Sonic Two. Damn. What's Miss is Mystic Ruin a, a thing at all? It might be. I'm st- I'm looking all around. Are you guys excited for Street Fighter Five? Not really. 
Yeah, I mean, Street Fighter is Street Fighter. Yeah, you we know, don't really play it. There's a huge learning curve for fighting. Oh games. yeah, yeah. I'm just not capable of it, especially a game like Street Fighter is like easy to play, hard to master. But like, if you master it, then you're unstoppable. Yeah. Today, well, mm-hmm. YouTube Red came out with their uh, exclusive content. Yeah. And I watched the first episode of Scared PewDiePie. How was that? I was really like looking forward to YouTube not like doing a reality show in like a YouTube way and mm-hmm. not screwing it up. But guess what? It's a freaking reality show. It's just a regular old reality show. They screwed it up. Yeah. I mean, it's like better than most reality shows, but like it's still like fake and like stupid. You, you know? know what it looks like? I've. I think it's called Scared. It was an old MTV reality show oh, where yeah, they stick yeah, yeah. cameras on yeah. D-list celebrities and send them into abandoned convenience stores and do things like that's, that. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> this one, so. this one was a little better because because they they tricked him a little more. But it was pretty mm-hmm. obvious. Like if I was in that situation, I'd be like, all right, this is this is part of the prank, you know? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of good YouTubers on it. Uh, I didn't watch any of those. Though. I only watched the first episode. And yeah, it's not. I'm not gonna watch any of the rest. It's not that good. I might watch the free episode just to see what everybody else gets yeah. to see, you know. And, and maybe the one where the the game grumps on it or Aaron from right. the game grumps is on it. I would like to see that, but I mean, yeah, it doesn't. I'm I'm not impressed. That that can you make a good reality show? Yeah. How? What's a good reality show? A good reality show. Is I can't a show... think of a good reality show right now. I mean, I'm not one to talk. I, I watch Total Divas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it good, or do you just watch it because your girlfriend wants to watch it? No, I, like sometimes, like it does get into like the behind the scenes stuff of like wrestling, which is something that the WWE never talks about. Like they'll show they'll show you like going over upcoming storylines and seeing people act out of character. Like ten years ago, that would have never happened. But there's but like, still stuff on that show that it's like, oh yeah, it's still, this is totally over the top. It's still for the there's show. still like relationship drama and you know right. BS like that. But you know things like where you start to see a little window into something you don't normally see a window into. That's interesting to me. I I'll say straight up, I haven't watched it in years, but Survivor is a damn good reality show. Yeah, because Survivor is you know high concept and it just takes ordinary people, puts them in an extraordinary situation. And you know, just lets them. That, that was what try to started the big boom of reality yeah. TV. Big and Brother, Big Brother, Big Brother sucks. Yeah, Big, big Brother just, sucks. Yeah. But that was like one of the first. Yeah. The thing is, like YouTube, everything's so real on YouTube and so raw, especially more so than TV. I would right. Say. Yeah. Especially like vloggers. Mm-hmm. Those are the ultimate reality shows because they're not you know making this stuff up. They're, yeah. This is actually what's happening. So I don't understand. And PewDiePie vlogged, and his vlog. I actually subscribed to him because his vlogs were good. Mm-hmm. And he like, you can't like just just be real. Like you know, don't don't try to like force this stuff. Yeah. The vlogs are good the way they are. If you pay a you're paying a producer like a lot of money to basically ruin the show. I feel like. You know, if YouTube Red does want to do like original content, then maybe they should start looking into scripted stuff. Yeah. I know I, I um Laser Team, the Rooster Teeth movie, yeah. it's gonna be on YouTube Red. Really? What's yeah. it on now? Is it on their their website? I don't know. I know it was in theaters. Is um, it a movie? Yeah. Oh it's a full movie. Oh. I um, thought it was a show. Wiz Kulikoff, my good buddy Jake, who's in who went to see the movie in theaters, uh, you can comment and talk about how good that was. But yeah, that's going to be on YouTube Red. Um, so yeah, things like that I feel might be better to show like this could be a viable platform. You know, maybe if like I don't know because Marvel has those shows on Netflix. If DC wants to do like a Booster Gold series on YouTube Red, that would be that would be something I would watch. Interesting. Yeah. Well, uh, the thing is that YouTube they're trying to keep it. You know, they're like they're creators. Their yeah. thing is you know like uh, anybody can do it. Indie raw stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that's. That's why a lot of their stuff is like reality, but like they gotta stop getting these like movie producer guys to do it. Just get yeah. freaking YouTube people. Uh, Rocket Jump, they're making yeah. Hulu original stuff, and their stuff's pretty good. Yeah, they have they have a creator like Academy like thing 
that the way they teach the, the rocket jump film school and it's yeah. awesome their film school is awesome and the show i don't know if you've seen it i saw the first episode and it was good the hulu show is them making a, one of their short movies mm-hmm. like 10 minutes long uh and then they put the film on the finished film on youtube okay so they're still making YouTube content, but they're also making Hulu content. It's <laughs> right. like brilliant, like behind the scenes stuff. It's awesome. They should do that for YouTube. Right? Yeah. But YouTube, like, you know, that slipped out of there. That slipped right through their fingers. Yeah. So I don't know. I think they just need to be a little more raw with YouTube Red. Come on. Come yeah. on, man. Open it up to us. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll give you some real good content on there. Like, we're not like... I don't have an option to like mark things as YouTube red. Yeah, it's stupid. Uh, all right, you got a topic for num- a number one? Uh, yeah, I got a topic. Um, yeah, let's do this. So I was just talking about Batman Forty Nine, just came out. Right. Um, and it was announced today that at is- issue fifty one will f- be the last issue for a creative team of Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. 51. 51. When was this announced? Because I feel Today. like I've heard about this. Well, Greg Capullo announced he was leaving a while ago. Okay. Today we got confirmation that Scott Snyder, the writer, is leaving at the same time. Okay. This is a pretty big deal because... They were tweeting about it. Yeah. I saw some back and forth. Of the all day. the... When DC relaunched everything back um 2011, I think it was. That sounds right. Yeah. Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo were the original creative team on Batman and since then they were they've been the only team to stay on their title like other people have left or like got fired or this and that they're the only ones who have stayed so now they're done and it's being rumored that they might do another reboot of issue 52 or after that or or something another reboot they're they've been teasing this a rebirth of some sorts DC DC might re do another reboot not Greg Capullo and uh, no, Greg Capullo is going off to do something with Mark Millar, and then Scott Snyder probably just do whatever Scott Snyder does. So, yeah, this is um, this is this, yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Um, you have probably the most acclaimed writer currently, um, and he took Batman, which was already like a decent selling book, and he just made it even better, and now he's officially done. And it makes you wonder what he's going to do next. Is he going to stay in the Bat family? Because he he has ideas for other characters. Is he going to move to Detective Comics? I think he's going to completely change gears. Yeah, you know, like well, is he still doing Witches? Yeah, Witches is creator owned, and it's done at Image Comics, and like they take breaks in between. Okay, a lot of Image books are doing that now. Yeah, I feel feel like he's into the whole creator owned thing. Yeah, now. I mean, they all are. I yeah, mean, everybody's got. I mean, plus, he also has books. American Vampire, which is still going. Uh, so what do you think he's gonna do? I th- I think he'll definitely like take a break from superhero comics for a little bit. You know, focus on which is American Vampire. I don't think he's gonna leave Batman anytime soon because he's been doing Batman since like 2009 mm-hmm. when um he did Black Mirror on Detective Comics, which is probably still his best Batman work. Um, so I think he'll be. He'll be sticking around in Batman for a while. He might move to Detective. There was a rumor that Bat, the main Batman title, will go by monthly. I mean, twice a month. Damn. Which, <laughs> yeah. It's too much. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, hey, this is good because I'm trying to pare down my pull list anyway, and it gives me, you know, an end point. So, thank you, Scott Snyder, yeah. for giving me an official end point. <laughs> um, what do you think Greg Capullo is going to do? I think he might just take a huge break because he's always complaining on Twitter about how much work he does. Yeah, and, well, like, Greg Capullo problems and is stuff. already um, he's already got a project lined up with Mark Millar, the creator of Kick Ass and Wanted, and oh, okay. all that stuff. So he ha- he has something in the works. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he takes a break too. Yeah. I know he's been wanting to do like some of his creator own stuff again. Like uh, I can't remember the name of his one really weird character it was like the creature or something <laughs> super ty says if scott does some of that hannah barbera work i'll flip my ass yeah a scott snyder space ghost that'd be oh space ghost that would be great yeah, that'd be awesome uh but creech yes great creech. creech guy number 20 we'll pay for mod no 
You were a mod once. The time has passed. <laughs> So Fanatics 4, you're not, you were a little late, but welcome. Yeah, it's all right. We'll take all latecomers, all newcomers, yeah, all never, old You're never comers. too late. Yeah. Um, guys, I see Bay in the background. What's up, Matthew? What do you see? Who's Bay? Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna start naming things at the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot, there's, there's a lot of things. Um. All right. So. All right. So yeah, that's just you know, everybody's favorite. Batman writer is no longer going to be writing Batman. That's right. Pretty much all I want to say. Um, this is a big deal for me. Okay. Uh, and for everybody, really, but I don't think anybody really knows it. Amazon launched just out of nowhere a game engine. I think they've had this for a while, but they never like did. Did was this like public knowledge? Well, they, you know, they have a game studio. Yeah. And they were making games for their Fire TV. They were making actual games. Yeah. I thought that they were making like the hardware. No, they they bought who do they buy? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they did buy a game studio. But a game studio isn't necessarily a studio that can make a game engine, you know? True. Oh, they bought a gun I just watched the video on it. Gun something. Was it? <laughs> Weren't weren't they the uh, guys full, who did Killer Instinct on Xbox One? Killer Instincts. Yeah. No, they're the guys who did uh, Dark Siders One and Two, or people who worked on Dark Siders One and Two. Gun something. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, this game engine's called Double Helix. That's who they bought. Uh, Double Helix Games. Not at all. Who close. worked on? Yeah, they worked on Killer Instinct for Xbox One. They also did uh, the Strider remake. Ooh, that was a good game. Silent Hill Homecoming, which I think people like. Then a whole bunch of licensed shit. Uh, I... A- anyway. Yes. They... they the, the game engine is called Lumberyard. Um, it looks like a full-fledged game engine like any other like 3D yeah. game engine. But um, it's specifically tuned for uh, multiplayer online stuff okay and it links directly with amazon cloud services and their amazon amazon web services i'm sorry and if you know anything about amazon web services everybody uses amazon web services like i don't know if you remember like a year or two ago amazon web services went down and half the internet stopped working Mm -hmm. like all these websites just shut off um so a lot of uh, video games use Amazon Web Services as their servers yeah. because they you ba- they basically just like paid servers. Um, so it links directly to that, and so you don't have to have like a like a work pipeline. You don't have to have a separate guy or a separate team just yeah. working on multiplayer stuff. You can have the same guys who work on the game work on the multiplayer stuff, and this engine also links directly with twitch it has these weird because you know amazon owns twitch it has these weird sort of like twitch integrations like for example you can have like a twitch plays pokemon type situation built into the game so Mm -hmm. like uh you can have a stream going and if uh you want the users to uh, let's say you're playing poker a poker game and you want the users to pick a card they could type exclamation point pick a card you know and Mm -hmm it'll it'll draw them a card you know like things will happen on the screen based on what they're typing in yeah uh there's also uh ways so that if you're playing a game and streaming it on twitch other users of that game can join up on you easier and stuff like that which is a huge problem with pc games yeah with i mean with playstation it's not as bad or with with xbox it's easy with playstation it's a little harder with pc it's near impossible to like join up on on a streamer so I think it's very interesting that they've been. Th- this looks like they've put a lot, a lot of work into this. It definitely seems like Amazon is super serious about gaming. Um, I'm on their f- Amazon Game Studios hey, website. So um, they have five what, games what out already. Games.amazon.com. Oh, this is a different website. Isn't Lumberyard the Lumberyard's the name of the engine, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they already have five games out, all for... I didn't even see any of the games that they had. 
one is exclusive to Fire TV. Um, the rest are on uh, Fire Phone, if anybody still has that. Uh, Fire Tablet, iPad, iPhone. Um, I'll never learn how to scroll. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to see like what other... Because I think they own other game studios, not just Double Helix. I didn't want to do that. They, they, they in the video for the lumberyard thing they talk about uh let's see if i can even pull it up I might be able to pull it up uh it was it's these people that worked on darksiders and darksiders 2 and they started an, 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 an independent studio okay and then uh i think they got bought by amazon or started working with amazon and they're the ones who pretty much made uh lumberyard is okay. this the video Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I know I wanted to make games in high school. It's been a pretty consistent passion of mine throughout my life. A lot of the people at Gunfire started working together like... Gunfire! Gunfire. Years ago with Mitchell Games. We made Darksiders that 1. That was the name of the game. Gunfire was the name of the studio. I'm not going to try All to right. play this. Ah, I full screened it by accident. Nah! Exit. You know, ruin everything. Vigil Studios, who made uh, Darksiders 1 and 2. Um, many of the staff joined Gunfire Games, a company set up in 2014. The studio's former founder. I would definitely check out that video on... Uh, where is it? Uh, AWS.Amazon.com slash Lumberyard. Or just Google Amazon Lumberyard and you'll find the video. It's a very nicely put together video. Yeah, it looks like it. It's one of you know one of those like tech you yeah. know, thing where they talk about all like they go to all the people who worked on it and they talk about it like it's you know the second coming of Christ. Or like something. all like all those EA trailers from like two E threes ago. Yeah, where like they don't show gameplay, they just show people working on the game. <laughs> oh, last year we're that... really excited about Star Wars Battlefront. We've mm -hmm. been making it for two years now. Still making. Not going to show you what Still it looks like, but it. guarantee you, it's, you're going to like it. So I thought that was interesting. I think Mass guys, Effect Andromeda okay. is going to be one of the biggest yep. RPGs of the year. Not going to show you jack about it, but guarantee <laughs> you, Mass Effect Andromeda, you're going to buy it. <laughs> buy I'm, it. I'm done. They have their stupid uh, conference. Like They're not E3. They're like, press conference. They're like, screw E3. We're going to do E3, but only our games, and it's going to be two days earlier, and nobody's going to be able to go to it because everybody already booked E3 hotel rooms through their companies yeah. and stuff, and this is worthless. They ruin themselves. Just do what Nintendo does. Yeah. Don't even go and then uh, do a friggin' uh, do a web show. Uh, yeah, do a web show. <laughs> I guess I should be listening to the chat. What do you guys think about this? Are you guys excited about some <laughs> web services? Did I just? Am I just? You know, the only one. Uh, isn't that engine based on CryEngine? Fan Fanatics Four. Yes, it, it is, is based on oh, CryEngine. Wow. Yeah. So okay. I guess then. I mean, it's probably still a lot of work. So it's probably just CryEngine with the Amazon stuff, like the Amazon Web yeah. Services, and then the Twitch stuff like thrown in there. I wonder how that works. I know the Source Engine, which you know powers all of Valve's games, is I think based on uh, id software. Really? Yeah, and I know just all like iterate. And off I know each other. the Call of Duty Engine is based on id software. Really? Yeah. I think it's, I want to say, it Tech 3. Because the original Call of Duty was the Quake 3 engine. So what you're saying is it made everything. It, <laughs> well, not anymore. It doesn't license their engines anymore. Right, but, you know, everybody iterated off of it. Yeah. So they, Pioneer is the first mm -hmm. person to Can we talk about Will's girlfriend? No. <laughs> <laughs> who, who said Guy that? Guy number 20, who do you think said that? <laughs> I lost faith in Bioware ever since Dragon Age 2. Why, Frederick? Was it really that bad? I heard great things about Dragon Age. Yeah, oh, well, the second Dragon Age I heard like wasn't all that, but uh, Dragon Age 1 and 3 were apparently like... Is 3 really Inquisition? Good. Yes. Okay. I heard great things about Inquisition. Yeah. Uh, Vicky, I bet EA doesn't have dank smoothies at their conventions like E3 does. Yeah, dank like $10 smoothies. Uh, Jake, if they do a million demo stations for EA, it would make sense. It would make sense for them to be separate from E3. Yeah, I guess yeah, if, they, but... if they set up like 
because that would take up a lot of floor space if they have a demo station for every single person that's going to be there. I never, I don't even remember what E3 looked like <laughs> last last two years that I went. It was just a hodgepodge. Of- I didn't. I don't remember their booth at all mm-hmm. in, the, in the slightest. I would never be there and be like, you know what? Let's go to the EA booth. You know? Yeah. Like, there's nothing I want to see there. I I played Star Wars Battlefront last year. Yeah. Outside of E3, at in the tent, and it was at they were closing and they kicked us out. <laughs> so there's no. It's stupid. They shouldn't have an event at all. They should just do like a like a like they they have their panel. Mm-hmm. Like they usually have it when all of the other game companies have their. They, they like weasel it in like you know they have like the Microsoft one, and then the PlayStation one, and then they have the Ubisoft one, and then they have the EA one. Yeah, and they just throw themselves in there. Just do that. Do it online only. Don't rent out a theater because it's a waste of money. Yeah, and then have your stupid little booth. With your stupid, I don't know what stupid game, uh, sim, sim asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think EA should do. Yeah, bunch of bunch of bastards over there. <laughs> oh, I guess Mass Effect. Yeah, but like that's not a game they're gonna demo. Can't demo Mass Effect. I mean, you can do like a section, but you know that's not really a hands-on thing. You could do a pre- like a press event, yeah, and have everybody spend like a half an hour with it, but you're not gonna have it on the show floor, you know. Yeah. The best booths were like uh, consistently were like PlayStation and like Nintendo, yeah, and Microsoft was yeah Microsoft was good too yeah all the main like companies were great mm-hmm. and they have like tons of demo stations yeah. All right, you got another one? Uh, yeah, I got another one. I guess uh, going off of your talk about conventions, um, New York Comic Con is too big. Yes, it is. Everybody knows this. Um, the people who make... Too, well, it's too uh, packed. Yeah. Uh, they pack too many people into it. Read Pop, the people who you know run New York Comic Con... Uh, know this. Uh, so the past two years, they had something called Special Edition NYC, which is basically just straight up comic books. That's it. Yeah. It's a comic con about comics. There's a novel concept, but it was great. <laughs> it was fun. You go, you just buy comics. You walk right up to creators. Um, you wait on a long ass line to buy tickets for New York Comic Con. Last year was a little bit of a shit show. Yeah, like, last year they had a bad venue. Yeah, it was a yeah, bad venue. It was, it was a little bit busy, but yeah. uh, it's still, you know, yeah, man, more manageable. This year, there will be no special edition NYC. Really? Because they're going to the focus not? on making New York Comic Con even bigger. Okay. They want to try and expand New York Comic Con throughout the city. Outside of the Javits Center. Outside of the Javits okay. Center, like in multiple locations. They started experimenting with this yeah. the past few years by having events at like Webster Hall or Hammerstein Ballroom and things like that. Um, but now they're looking to go even further. On the one hand, this makes sense. I mean, San Diego does the same thing. San Diego Comic Con, that's pretty much spread throughout the whole city. On the other hand, I'm going to miss Special Edition. Yeah. Because, like, that was just great. It was just comics for comics' sake. Not, like, this homogenation of everything. You know? So... It's probably a huge pain in the ass for them to run two conventions, though, you know? Read Pop runs, like, 100 conventions a year. Yeah. They, pretty much any convention that isn't San Diego Comic-Con, they run. Oh, okay. They do C2E2. They do... Um, the Anaheim Comic Con they do uh, Star Wars Celebration. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's a big deal. Yes, they they do they do pretty much everything. So, I mean, one more convention isn't going to kill them, but right. they're focusing on trying to make uh, New York Comic Con bigger than it already is, which I, I think might blow up in their face. <laughs> I think it's something that's definitely necessary Mm -hmm. um you're right last year they had uh one of the main convention rooms was what was it uh hammerstein ballroom hammerstein ballroom yeah it was like down the block it was 
I mean, it was a decent walk, though. It yeah. wasn't, like, right next to it. That's what I'm curious about. There's nothing by the Javits Center. Yeah. There's nothing there. So where are they going to put all of this other stuff? Where are they going to expand it to? I don't know. I mean, Pure 94, which is where Special Edition was last year, is, you know, quite a walk from the Javits yeah. Center. So, I'm, I mean, unless they do that, and unless they have shuttles running you around every place. What I think they should do is, I mean... I don't get autographs from people. I know you rarely do. Rarely, yeah. Most of my friends don't go. I mean, we we do from the comic creators. Yeah, but those are easy autographs to get because they're usually just hanging around. Yeah, I'm talking about like the and famous free. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the famous people or the mm-hmm. B list people. You know, they're they take up a lot of room in the basement. That whole section and yeah. the lines for that take up a lot of room that whole section should be gutted no more of that and put uh make that convention space yeah that would free up a lot of room there's a lot of things they could they could do but you know i just don't think especially getting rid of special edition is one of them it was nice to have you know just a convention for comics you know because that's sadly like getting smaller and smaller (laughs) Super Ty says comic movies is the reason. Yeah. I don't uh, I don't think this is bad. Jackie Donnelly says Twilight is the reason that Comic Con is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh I don't think it's bad that comics movies make comics more popular. I think that's good. Yeah, no, that's not the problem. The problem I think is people have this idea. Twilight might be bad. Yeah. <laughs> people I think people just have this idea in their head that like a Comic Con and get to see celebrities and you don't. No. Like if you're lucky. If they're well, there, nobody cares. Yeah. Like, they're just people walking around trying to see the cool stuff. Yeah. So, I I hope that they expand it. Yeah. I hope that they can. And give me some more walking room, you know? I mean, also, too, the Javits Center is kind of poorly, uh, like a poor layout for something like this. It is, yeah. I mean, it's, when I went to San Diego Comic-Con, it's like night and day. Like, the mm-hmm. San Diego Convention Center is like... Just one huge rectangle. Yeah. And everything's laid out in a grid. Javits Center is like section by section by section and like it expands and contracts. And... The LA Convention Center is two big rectangles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have to like go outside and walk into the other one. But yeah. Yeah. Like Javits Center, it's one, it's two big sections and then. Artist Alley, which is all the way on the other side in like a nook. Yeah. And then there's a basement with all of the uh uh stages and stuff. It's yeah. it's a mess. Javits Center is a mess for that stuff. Mm. But I know when we go there for like the car show, it feels so much bigger. Oh yeah. Because there's a lot more room. Also, too, the car show is like a whole week. Yeah. I mean Comic Con is only like four days. I think that's one of the other things they're gonna do is like make it more days, which I think they should. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they I know they open up Thursday. Yeah. But I mean like maybe do the whole week. Maybe yeah. Monday be press day and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. I stopped going on Sundays because well, probably because I have to make a video now. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean uh, last year when I went on Sunday it was even worse. I mean Sunday used to be like the not so one of the not so bad days. This time it was a really crowded i could not move <laughs> i think more of the merging of the big apple anime fest which isn't a bad thing or too crowded that well, happened too that. that happened too i remember i think that was like 2010 i remember they put it in the basement did they put it in right the basement? Oh, one year remember- they put it in the basement and then it just kind of disappeared i assume that uh that New York Comic Con just ate it up and it just I remember, spread like, out throughout. Two thousand eight was like fine. You could walk around, go walk up to people, and all that. I didn't go two thousand nine. Two thousand ten was when the first year it merged with the Anime Fest. And yeah, I just could not do anything. Could not that, move. Could not. Two thousand ten must because it was before uh, I had a booth. Yeah. So it was two thousand ten because they had one in the. They they had all of these booths in the basement. Yeah. It was mostly like anime, like artists and stuff. It was mm-hmm. it was strange, um, but yeah, like I don't think that added that. Like, how big was the anime fest? Anime is big, but like like you go to New York Comic Con now, it's yeah. a lot of anime and manga and yeah, hentai and things like that. 
it's a lot of the same booth that sells the same type of toys, you know? Like yeah. The, like the big boob statues. <sighs> well, hope I'll be able to move this time. Yeah. This is my last story. All right. Uh, somebody else wanted us to talk about it. I, heard, I saw it in chat earlier, but I didn't want to say anything. Uh, Sock the Hedgehog. Getting his first movie in two thousand eighteen. I was I was gonna bring that up, but I decided to talk about the other two things. Yeah, I'm I don't think I want that. <laughs> no, nobody wants this. I'm his nineteen ninety nine movie was enough for me. <laughs> I know there are good ways to make a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I have no confidence that they're going to do any of the right ways. Definitely. It's supposed to be like a live action CGI hybrid. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, like, all of Sonic and his friends are going to be CGI, and they're going to be, you know, humans. There was a there was a fan film, a short film that did that, where, like, Sonic was a little CGI guy, and all the humans were humans. Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd was in that. Uh, he was in the that? Nostalgia Critic was in that. Uh, some of the guys from Screw Attack were in that. I did watch a Sonic fan film, and I hated they got, my life. They it was got such a waste Jaleel, of 20 minutes. They got Jaleel White to be the voice of Sonic in that. Mm-hmm. It's a reprise his role from all the animated series. Oh, wow. Um, but I have, just have a feeling that... Because I think Sony is going to is making this. They are, yeah. And I feel like they're just gonna do the Smurfs, where yeah. like Sonic and friends show up on Earth and they befriend a human, and they, they get in wacky hijinks because they don't understand modern Earth pop culture. So yeah, like Sonic the old cartoon took place on what planet? Mobius. Mobius. And what does Sonic Adventure take place on? Because that's Earth. Because they're with humans, like I actual humans. Think... You know, I'm not sure to be honest. I think there was one said that Mobius is just Earth way in the future. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that explains the robots. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. It's like vaguely defined where maybe it will maybe it was Mobius in Sonic Adventure. Yeah, that would make a little bit of sense. But um, you know, if they want to, you know, do humans and Sonic's friends, you know, take a cue from like Futurama because like that, you know, did the did it perfectly blending humans and like aliens and creatures and robots and stuff. Like you you didn't notice, yeah. like you were like you believed it. Nothing clashed or anything. Um, they they just got to make a. Full animated movie. Yeah, just go full CG. Don't, yeah. don't do hybrids. I understand if you have to put humans in, like um, what was that that kid from Sonic X, Chris, whatever. If you have to throw him in there, I understand. Don't make him the focus. Yeah, but yeah, I, I there's there's no way this is gonna be good. This is zero yeah. zero chance. This is gonna be a good a good movie. Yeah, I'm just uh, Sonic's Sonic's not in a good place right now. So, Sonic, you can't make a good Sonic game, and that's his medium. Yeah, you, you're not gonna make a good movie. Yeah, you're not unless you get Pixar to do it, and you're not. Gonna yeah, you're not gonna do that. This, has Sony made an animated movie? I don't know. Uh, Vicky says people want Aaron Hansen to do the voice that's Ego Raptor from the Game Grumps. He, yeah, I did see that. There's like a petition online. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. They'll no, probably get like not. they'll get somebody like a celebrity. Yeah. Um, oh, Sony did do they did open season, cloudy with a chance of meatballs, the oh. Smurfs, and, with the chance of meatballs is supposed to be good, and uh, Hotel Transylvania, which apparently Hotel Transylvania, although it's an Adam Sandler movie, apparently it's not bad because it's Jen D. Tartakovsky. What, what, what did you say? God the, bless guy, you. the guy who created Samurai Jack. Oh, cool. <laughs> Jen D. Tartakovsky. That's coming back. Yeah, Samurai Jack, and it's gonna be on Adult Swim. Ooh, isn't that the plot of Sonic X? I think it, I think it say. is. Uh, what is the Sonic and his friends transport from wherever they are to like modern day uh, America? <laughs> I saw like a few episodes of that. Yeah, I, I remember the first episode. The first episode, um, Sonic couldn't swim and he gets stuck in a pool for like a few minutes. And I thought that was funny. Caloric brought up a good point. The president of the United States is in Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 takes place in San Francisco. <laughs> That's true. With the largest Golden Gate Bridge I've ever That's seen. Tr- it could, I mean, that could just be like 
like Mobius could have San Francisco in it. Mobius could be like, you know, like I said, Earth way in the future. You Go- know, Google Sonic Adventure Two uh, Earth. Uh, hold on, just pick a tab. Well, pick a tab and start typing. Also, if you're in our chat, now is the time to leave us comments and questions and stuff, and we will read them before we. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. The Sonic News Network, uh, sonic.wikia.com. Earth, Earth, also referred to as Sonic's World, is the main planet and overall setting in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. The planet was originally named the planet was originally unnamed except in other media in which most early continuities instead took place on a fictional planet, Mobius. A few exceptions, the planet's name in games was never mentioned. However, games were generally assumed to be taking place on Earth-like planets. So, so when was it called Mobius? In the Saturday morning animated series. That's it? Yeah. And then I guess, you know. What about Sonic w- CD? Uh, Sonic CD, I think it was called Mobius also. And the 1989 movie, because that was the animated series. Yeah. That was part of, that was like part of the animated series. Uh, let's look. And the Sonic yeah. CD. I don't know if Sonic's... Because some of these games t- do take place on, like... Sonic CD took place on Little Planet. Little Planet? Yeah. Is that, like, a completely different planet? I guess. How did he get there? How did Sonic get There's there? There's, like, a lot of planets in Sonic. So, uh, Sonic Colors takes place on an amusement park planet. How did he, Sonic how Lost Worlds he get place. there? If they fly in Tails, his little... I know in Sonic thing. Adventure 2, he's, like, rolling around at the speed of sound in yeah. space, and he can <laughs> breathe for some reason. When when you go fast, when you go fast, <laughs> you don't have to breathe in space. A uh, super tie. He left a bunch of stuff on my uh, Twitter, and he reiterated here mm-hmm. the awesome Star Wars Twitter accounts. What do you know? What he's talking about. I don't know. What he's I think about. Uh, emo Kylo Ren, oh, Luke yeah. Skywalker, arrogant BB-8, uh, bad dad Han Solo. I really I I like lonely Luke yeah. and uh, <laughs> the Kylo one. Um, Game Trail is shutting down. Very sad. That's sad. But I, I never watched any of this. I stuff. used to go to Game Trailers all the time. Yeah, like, back when it was the only place to watch Game Trailers. Well, even like, you know, after YouTube blew up, I would go there and like watch their stuff because they had like a lot of good stuff. But then, you know, they just started I only went there because I, I knew that that was where I could go to, to look at Game Trailers. But they didn't, you but know. But even like after, like, YouTube and like other websites start putting out game trailers. They had a lot of good original content. You I know, never watched any of the original Pop Fiction content. was an in- incredible show. Things like Pack Attack, um, The Final Boss Men, and like, but then they just there was less and less of it. So, uh, Twitter getting screwed with time- the timeline. You hear about that? Yeah, I just still don't really know what that's all. You about. know when you go to Twitter and it says uh, what you missed, and it yeah, it, you can hit the X and it says, did you like that? Yeah. That was them testing out how they're going to basically make it like Facebook, how the timelines... Oh, so I should have been hitting no all those times. Yes. Oh. You're part of the problem. Damn it. (laughs) I was hitting no. But uh, apparently they say that they're not going to do it, but uh, it was heavily suggested that they're going to screw with the time. They they are screwing with the timeline. I think they're just going to keep that feature where you go and it'll be like, this is what you missed, which isn't the end of the world, but... I mean, I mostly just use the Twitter app on Mac anyway, and it's really bad. And it yeah. just, you know, just has the regular timeline yeah, on it. Tweet Deck, Tweet Deck's the best. Yeah, I don't want Tweet Deck. I only have like one Twitter account. So. You have two Twitter accounts. You have two Twitter accounts <laughs> that I rarely ever <laughs> post on. That's another thing. I had the two Twitter accounts on this one, yeah. but you know, having the Wolf Den one started crashing it. So get Tweet Deck. I'll and and it's, you can put it in the web browser. You just go to TweetDeck.com. It's awesome. I'll do it tomorrow. And you can schedule tweets. Why would I ever want to schedule a tweet? Oh, I don't know. So you could be like still live at YouTube.com <laughs> slash bleep bloop bloop. Promote yourself. <laughs> Somebody asked where we have matching beards. I don't know. Screw him. No, it's this is a winter beard. This will this, be gone. These are, these are winter beards. This will be gone t- uh, towards spring. It's cold in New York it's, and I'm yeah. lazy. Um... Uh, uh, oh, and there's man. already a super beard, bros. John Cena getting his own reality TV show. You were talking about Divas before. He was in that, right? Yeah, because he's dating one of them. Um, yeah, he's getting like a, like a fitness reality show. I think it's like one of those competition reality shows where fat people come in and say they can't do it. And John Cena says something really inspirational. 
and then raps and then walks off. I'm kidding. He doesn't <laughs> rap anymore. He's no longer the professor of thugonomics. Oh my god. Frederick, have you played Persona? No. I haven't played any Persona games. Caloric, uh, Blob, why is your hair so long? Uh, I'm lazy and I don't yeah. like to get haircuts because <laughs> I don't like to talk to people. I don't like to go schedule appointments and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm super I, lazy. I hate getting haircuts. Um, yeah. I, usually before I go get a haircut, I always watch this one video by The Art of Manliness on how to get a haircut and just to remind me what to do when I'm there. <laughs> yeah. Last time I brought Vicky. She wasn't so. a lot of help. <laughs> you gotta, You got to like be there and tell them how to sculpt my head into into perfection yeah like yours is like your like your head uh what superhero film would you most like to see from lord of eldron uh oh, i'm gonna see deadpool this weekend yeah i uh, me too what superhero film would i most like to see i guess in all i mean the ones that we know are coming out or just in general just let's screws question up and say in general all right I'm... at all <sighs> Still waiting on. I mean, still waiting Pun- on a good Spider-Man. <laughs> Punisher's coming to Netflix to Daredevil, so I'm looking forward to that. I still would like to just see a good ass Punisher movie. Um, I already got a a good Batman movie with the Dark Knight. I want to see Robin done right because I know it's uh, possible. Or Nightwing. Or Nightwing. I know it's possible. So stop futzing around Hollywood. Caloric said Sonic didn't exist in 1989. I don't know if I said... I you meant, did say 1989. Oh, I meant 1999, the movie. Yeah. The 1999 movie. Right. That one is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about... People still play Destiny? Yes, they do. Shut up, guy. <laughs> uh, Bob moved to X-Bone? No. Uh, he's got an X-Bone. Play with yep. him. Bother him. I don't play multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't play multiplayer. I will be playing the Division beta whenever that goes open, so. What do we think about Mafia 3? Dario said, do you care? I don't care. I, don't I care. haven't seen anything of it. Mafia 2 wasn't bad. I, I didn't mean, like it. I would, li- I would like a good Mafia game. So. The, the mind-blowing part of Mafia 2 was when I was driving the car, and I was, like, hot off of Grand Theft Auto, I guess. Yeah. I was driving the car, and something happened. And a cop was coming up after me, and I was like, "Crap! Yeah, it's my- the fuzz." <laughs> and then I get out. He pulls me over, and I get out of the car to go hit him because I'm, you know, yeah. it's a cop in a video game. And he goes, "You he gives me a ticket." <laughs> yeah, that game had like really crazy, like you know, you had to like really obey the rules of the law. You couldn't speed. You couldn't run red lights. That was and weird. Stuff. That was that so was weird. weird. <laughs> I kind of liked that though. <laughs> uh. What else? Thoughts on Sonic movie? We just talked about it! <laughs> uh, I meant the one you want to get made. Oh, yeah. Well, good. That's what we answered. Uh, the only place kick. of dying. That one. I want to see that. Clay Kicks. I want to see the connection that they built with Robin on the end of The Dark Knight Rises. Ooh. I've, I always thought that would make a good uh, digital comic. Because uh, DC has been doing this thing where, like, you know, they had Batman 66, the digital comic. They have Wonder Woman 77, the digital comic. So, yeah, continue Dark Knight Rises as an ongoing digital comic. I'll write it. I got I got pitches. I got pitches. <laughs> Gavin, uh, you can actually rewind this video. Oh, look at that. Before we end, because it's going to go private for a day, and then it'll yeah. go back up tomorrow at 10. Mm-hmm. I want to play with taking this down and putting it back up so that people will get a notification. Probably won't get to that tonight. Yeah. Uh, new Pokemans. I haven't pl- I played Pokemon Y, not a big fan. It was good. Like I enjoyed myself, but it's an RPG and I It's hard to do. Jackie, now. what yeah. was your question? I'm sorry, I, mi- I missed it. Let me see if I can Oh, you're like so far up. <laughs> oh. All those Super Bowl movie trailers? Oh, uh, uh I-, I only really saw um Captain America looks good. Uh Yeah, I only saw Captain America. Deadpool looks good. Uh Independence Day. <laughs> Yeah, um, Jason Bourne. I really like the original uh, Jason Bourne movies. This is Matt Damon and the original director Paul Greengrass. This looks like a brawler. This movie does not look like a Jason Bourne movie, or at least it doesn't look like a Paul Greengrass Jason Bourne movie. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Um, yeah, and then I don't know if these count as trailers, but those uh, Turkish airline commercials that featured Bruce Wayne and Lex Luthor, actually. Clever. Props. <laughs> All right, last question. How much do you like Cowboy Bebop and anime in general? Uh, I We like 
We like Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't. I like anime, but I don't uh, watch a lot of it. Yeah. So I, I you know, we did a we did a video on anime back when we yeah, did like way back uh, pre recorded stuff. So go check that out. Yeah. Uh, I like Trigun is what really got me mm-hmm. all, like into stuff because that was the first one I watched like I start I'm, to finish. I think I'm pointing to it. Yeah. Um. Then Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. And well, what other series did I watch? Gungrave. Gungrave. Uh, yeah, it's really yeah, like we're, we're not that into. Anime, yeah, I mean there are some animes that I I think I would like, but you know I just yeah, like I'm I'm into it and I'm interested in it. I, yeah. I wouldn't say like I'm an anime fan, but I do. Yeah. You know, I there's some good stuff there. Yeah. You know, you know, it was actually wasn't bad. I saw some episodes of the Devil May Cry anime. Yeah, yeah, cool. And you know, Metal Gear is just a massive. Anime. Metal Gear is anime. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah. Thanks for coming along and watching us do all this. Yes. We'll be back. Uh, this Well, if you missed any of this, it'll be up tomorrow. Yeah. Get a little notification. And uh, she won't get a notification. She's got to check it out. And the audio format will be on iTunes. Um, may go up a little later than usual because I'm tired and I want to go to bed. So. <laughs> and we got to film someone right after this, too. Yes. Um, so, schedule, of course, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday, make Wednesday, sure Thursday. you go on iTunes. And you give us a little rating yeah. so other people can see this. We can grow our community and give you more content because that's all I ever want is to give just, you more Just rate us five stars. Like You can write bad comments if you want. Just rate us five stars. <laughs> On Sunday, I'll probably stream with Vicky again because it's Valentine's Day because we did Crimson Doubles last night. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> in Destiny, there's a game mode called Trials, right? which is three versus three. Mm-hmm. And you can revive each other and stuff. And it's really like, you know, like intense. Crimson Doubles is that, but two verse two. And okay. there's like flowers and stuff, and it's all cute. And we're the only actual couple <laughs> doing it. So we'll probably do that again on Sunday. It was fun. Yeah. I will uh, be taking my girlfriend out to dinner because we're adults. Oh, and we're going to go see Deadpool after. I'm going to see it on Friday. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Have a good week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this isn't pre recorded. I have to actually hit the button. <laughs> Where's the bye? Okay, goodbye.